It's no big deal. Looks like you've been in a fight. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Now, how did you get the bruises? It was Joe. No. Then how? We were moving the boat. Moving the boat? That's the most pathetic excuse I've ever heard. Have you been sailing recently? That looks like someone's grabbed you hard. David told me you and Joe have been ramming. Oh, so you're a forensic detective now, are you? Didn't even know I had the bruises. I mean, maybe Joe did give me them. You should try moving that boat. It weighs a ton. I don't buy this. I don't care. It's none of your business. What's going on? Have you seen no bruises? What bruises? I've got a couple of black marks, sir. Uh, I got when me and Joe moved the boat, so <laughs> now he thinks I'm a battered wife. A battered wife? Joe can fight his way out of a paper bag. I think you should be taking this a bit more seriously. I think you need to lighten up. Everything's fine. I want to talk to Joe. Oh, great. You know where he is. Have a good trip. You sure you're all right? Um... Actually, no, I've, um... I've got a bit of a headache. Yeah, and we know why. I, uh, I think I'll go and, uh, lie down for a couple of minutes. You happy now? Tuck in, everyone. Mmm. We like the shops. Good. Oh. Very clean. Could you get the kids from Holiday Club at 3.30? Yeah, of course I can. No problem. I don't know why you send them away in the holidays. All their friends go to half-term club. It's good for their social development and it's educational. Yes, and Monday is trampoline day. Adi said the strangest thing this morning. Really? What was that? They were having breakfast and he said it was nice seeing his daddy in the house for a change. Ah, they do say strange things. Why would he say for a change. Are you not in the house every day? Well, well uh, you, you've been doing a lot of gardening, haven't you? Maybe he meant in the house instead of in the garden. I love to mow and weed and hoe. Sometimes just all day. Just the mowing and the streaming and the ploughing. Could you pass the bread, please? And he's often away on business trips. More business trips? But surely you need to be here to look after all your shops. But a corner shop conference circuit is such a killer. And if you don't go to these events, you are so just a bit out of the loop. So you're away a lot. Well, not a lot. But you know, kids, are two nights in Swindon and all of a sudden it's just a, who are you? Daddy's <laughs> 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 never in the house anymore. Yeah. Mm. This is good. Good. Thank mm. you. Oh, Grant, your tumbleweed's a bit bulky, but this hardly takes up any space. It just falls flat. There is no space in there. I feel like you're throwing me out. What? All this stuff, it's, it's like a part of me. <laughs> what is this? Love me, love my cactus. Look, if Jason and Tina are selling the flat, how come they can't afford their own place? Look, Jason's my son and Tina is my prospective daughter-in-law once he's divorced his current wife. Are you trying to make me choose? No. Oh, your stuff will be fine out here. What if it gets wet? I suppose Bill will have a spare tarp somewhere. Come on, let's move your teepee. Why don't you come down the pub? Everything looks better through the amber glow of a lunchtime lager. <sighs> yeah, I probably would, but my mum's upstairs. I don't like leaving on her own while he's around. What? Who don't you trust, him or her? Oh, I am. Speak of the devil. Just talking about you. Where's Mum? She's having to lie down. Why? Do you want to wake her up and interrogate her a bit more? Something's going on. Yeah, in your imagination. Just drop it, yeah? What I want to know is what you're doing sniffing around the factory. Well, that's not a good idea. Sniffing around a factory that makes knickers <laughs> could be misconstrued. Is that a legitimate business inquiry? Yeah, it's out of your league. You don't know what league I'm in. Well, I know you're in danger of relegation. <laughs> what do you know about Carla? What do you want to know? Said she had a business partner. Who is it? Uh, yeah, that'd be a murdering husband, Tony Gordon. It's a tragic tale of lust and betrayal. I'm all ears. Uh, I don't think so. Sunshine, aren't you got to get back to work? No, yeah, that is true. Um, some other time, maybe, yeah? See you again in the wedding? What wedding? I'm you heard. 
I don't chase gossip like you. Tina and Jason. Unlikely. Seen as he's still married to our sister. Maybe they decided not to invite you. Why are you here? I'm just visiting my favourite little brother. <laughs> Eat much. You should see me polish off a bar of fruit and milk that Britain's got talent. Do you have fertility problems? Excuse me? Well, the twins are five now and you've had no more babies. But we are thinking about it, aren't we? Yeah, thinking, planning. Thinking and planning is not the way to make a baby. We know what to do. We've done it before. Yeah, many times. And we may do it again. When we think the time is right. Yeah, timing. So important. So you do plan to have more children? Oh, yes. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. When were you going to tell me? Don't kick off. I'm not going to kick off. Why would I kick off? Just think I deserve a little bit of respect, you know, now that we're related, part of the same family. Yeah, well, I ain't had a chance to tell my dad yet. And it's not the kind of thing you put in a text. So it's true, then, the engagement? You can't marry Jason. David! Steady on, mate. No, last time I checked, he was still married to my sister. Yeah, well, they'll start divorce proceedings. It should only take a few weeks. Good old Jason, eh? Easy come, easy go. Do you want anything? Come with him. You know he's got an habit of escaping through toilet windows. You do? No, I meant Jason. It took my sister two goes to tie him oh, down. Look, David, I'm sorry. I should have talked to you. Hey, you don't need my permission. It's your life. I'm happy for you. We're both happy for you. Well, do you want anything while you're in here? Yeah, some, um, chewy would be good. Very good. Very cool. Nearly there. When does a quid? <sighs> what about Fleetwood to Larn? Uh, can you give me times and dates of crossings, please? No. Uh, last week. Um, are there any other routes to Ireland? Uh, how would I get hold of passenger lists? It's, it's my husband. Um, I know it sounds silly, but uh, I haven't got his specific travel details. Yes, um, I'll hold. What are you doing? I have to do something. Hang on. But I... Hang on. What's the matter? You can't do this. I can. Yeah? And what if the police check your phone records? Why are you protecting him? It's his choice, Mum. He got himself into this mess. I say you should tell the truth and let him sink. He could go to jail. Well, he should go to jail. He's a criminal. A dangerous and deluded criminal. And if you let him, he'll take you down with him. I love him. Why? He doesn't love you, does he? Look what he's done. He doesn't deserve you. He's my husband, and I will stand by him. Well, you're not standing by him. You're lying through your teeth to protect a man who couldn't care less about you. And you know what? You're no good at it. You couldn't keep it up. I mean, Nick already knows something's going on. You can't do this. I can do whatever it takes. Joe is a good man. Joe is a stupid man. He's ran off on some airbrain scheme that's never going to work in a million years. He's calling you bluff, Mum. He's daring you to report him missing, he's blackmailing you into helping him. He's probably in some pub now in Dublin laughing his head off. I am not giving up on him. If I have to lie to help him, then so be it. He'll soon realise he's made a mistake and he'll come home. You're a fool. Maybe. I don't know what else to do. Hiya. I don't suppose you've seen your dad recently. I know who you are, and I know what you do. Really? Yeah. If you threaten my dad again, I'll go straight to the police. Well, aren't you the tough girl who loves her daddy? If you want to help him, give him a message from me. You tell him I'll be back Friday and I want my money. All of it. Hi, Tina. Hi. Just give him the message. 
Who was that? No one. What do you want? Nothing. Doesn't matter. I don't believe you. Someone ran my mum's this morning. But it's got nothing to do with you. Your dad is married to my mum. And if something is upsetting you and I can help, I will. Will her ladyship be joining us? She's feeling a bit tired. Tired? She's been sat in front of that telly all afternoon. She's got a new life growing inside her. She's pregnant. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. I have been pregnant. I don't know what it's like. Well, then maybe a bit of sympathy is in order, a bit of support. She's taking advantage. She's taking care of herself. She's not had a drink or a fag for two weeks. She might be feeling strange. Hey, babe, everything okay? Yeah. 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 No problem. I'll be right up. What does she want now? She's dropped the remote. Um. Well, he's bounced under the chair. She finds it very difficult to bend down. Be back in two seconds. Oh, come on, thank goodness you're here. I don't know where anyone is, and I hate drinking on my own. It looks so sad. Uh, did you know Joe was in debt to a loan shop? What? Well, that makes sense, actually. I mean, everybody knew he had money troubles after that business with the drugs. Apparently he's been putting pressure on Joe. He's even been hassling Tina. I knew Joe had trouble. Nobody would listen to me. I saw bruises on her arms. What sort of bruises? Like someone had grabbed her. What'd she say? Oh, she denied it, but something's not right. Nick, sweetheart, I have tried talking to her. She just sends me away with a flea in me. Right. We should see her together. Force her to tell us the truth. Yeah. As soon as I finish this. Oh, I just don't know what to do myself. I'm rattling around the flat on my own. Oh. Well, where's Simon? Oh, he's staying over at George and Eve's just for the holidays, you know, and he loves it there, and with me running the bookies, it's just easier for now. What about Peter? Well, it's early days, but he seems to be getting on all right, and they're keeping him busy with loads of workshops and stuff. Oh, I couldn't bear rehab. <laughs> you don't need rehab. Hey, I sometimes wonder. Half five every day I get Chardonnay with Gerald. <laughs> You're looking well? Yeah, you too. Small world. Hello again. I'd love to stop and chat, but we've got a family crisis. We, we, we can talk later. I'm busy all day. OK. Come on, we're going to do this. Duty calls. How do you know Nick? How do you know him? Oh, <laughs> I think I need a drink. <laughs> I'll buy you one. <laughs> what was all that about? No, it's my fault. What does it take to pick up a remote? I had to peel a satsuma. She hasn't got the strength to peel her own satsuma. It was still in the bag. Oh, now I'm worried. She's got shifts to do. Now, it's one thing you've been soft enough to run round after her, but I am not asking Betty and Sean to peel satsumas. I'll have a word. He's bringing a friend home with him. Gary, what kind of friend? I don't know, a mate. Hey, he's not gone the other way, has he? Oh, don't be daft, it's a soldier. We should get some extra food in. Then we should clean up the house. We're not coming till Friday. No rush. Oh, speed you move, we should have started last week. Not a bad time, is it? I don't know. Depends what you want. It won't take long. Come to give me another interrogation? Oh, Gail, we care about you. Yeah, well, he's got a funny way of showing it. We know all about the loan shark, and he's been hassling Tina. Joe has a bit of financial trouble. That's why he's working so hard to put things straight. He's up to his eyes in debt, and he's disappeared. <sighs> he's working in Cumbria. His own daughter hasn't spoken to him since the two of you went away. Yeah, well, have you tried getting a signal on your mobile halfway up a mountain? It's obvious she's not telling us the truth. There's nothing to tell. Nick says you've got some bruises on your arms. Now, can I see them? No. 
You can't. They're my bruises and nobody else's business. Has Joe hit you? Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe this. Two of you been sitting together comparing notes, uh, letting your imaginations run away with you? Gail, has he hit no! you? No! Never has, never would, never will. Joe is a good man. You are so far from the truth, you would not believe it. Well, sadly, of course, that's exactly what you would say if he was beating you up. Do you know me at all? I sometimes wonder. You think I would put up with a man who beat me? I do know you. In fact, I think I know you better than you know yourself. And right now, I know summer isn't right. There's people to serve down here. Yeah, I know you're thirsty, but... Okay, yeah, okay. Two minutes. Uh, baby's dehydrated. I need to get a fluid into Becky as soon as possible. Which is cold for she wants a cup of tea. Extra milk, two sugars. I still can't believe you were married. To oh. him? Well, we all make mistakes. How long ago was this? It was a million years ago. We were young. Too young. He's a very manipulative man. And pushy, too. You're not thinking of doing business with him? No. Good. Although, he clearly provokes strong reactions in people. Well, don't you go thinking that that's a good thing? I don't. You're intrigued. I'm not. He's trouble. Oh, if you say so. So, no regrets then on your part? No lingering feelings? No, definitely not. Look, I'm just trying to warn you what he's like. I know. And everything you say tallies with what I thought when he first swaggered into my office. But, but, now I'm curious. What do you think we'd like to eat? The soldiers. They eat anything. Yeah, but they're probably used to having, like, boring army rations in the barracks. They could do with a proper home-cut meal. Mm. How about a leg of lamb? Nah, it's got a bit beef. Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. Mm. Oh, that's it. A traditional British roast. Mm. What's down by a traditional kind of lager? Yeah. Mm. It's only because we care about you. Hmm? And I feel there's so much you're not telling us. I should have told you earlier. Yeah. Come on, you can tell me anything. When I married Joe, his money problems became my problems. That's the way it should be. And he is doing everything he can to sort them out. Yeah, I can vouch for that, Graham. I mean, he really is determined to turn his life around. So worry about you. Don't. Oh, like it's that easy. What are you doing? Going back to Nottingham. I drive safely. I thought you were staying till the weekend. Yeah, plans change. You obviously don't want me here. That's not true. Well, speak for yourself. If you want me to stay, talk to me. Tell me what's going on between you and Joe. Let him go. I swear to you, nothing is going on. Everything is fine. If you change your mind, there I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, very mature. You could try holding your breath till you turn blue. If you won't talk to us, then what's the point? But what, what is wrong with you? I mean, she's explained everything. You're still having a go at her. What are you saying? That she's a liar? Yes. Yes, I am. She's obviously lying. She's not even very good at it. Nick! Look, I don't know what's going on, but your husband's giving you some nasty bruises, he's in trouble with the loan shark, and he seems to have disappeared. Or you're hiding him somewhere. Whatever you're covering from. And you can't tell us, Gail. Ah, oh, well, there you go, Mum. It's all out and open now, at least. I mean, you're a liar, and you're covering for your wife-beating, debt-ridden husband. Get out. Both of you. Oh, gay. I said get out. Come on, there's no more we can do. Oh. Do you know, you do this every time, please. Well, I'm sorry to be so predictable. Maybe if you gave me a bit of support rather than cross-examination. Oh, come on. Hey, do you think it's safe letting them do bedtime? Yeah, I think so. We're getting quite good at this. Yeah, I almost believe it myself sometimes. 
Thanks for doing this. I really do appreciate it. Hey, listen, when this is over, I'm going to take you somewhere really posh for dinner. Because I think we both deserve a bit of us time. Then we can go and lie down in a dark room for a few yeah. hours. Yeah. And maybe think about making more babies. Well, what are you doing? No, I'm, I'm joking. I just, uh, it's just uh, really difficult getting out of character stuff. Yeah, look, I really appreciate everything you're doing, but I can't. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Just, no, shh. No, just uh, save for the aunties, yeah? Here you are. Reckon you deserve it. What are you going to do now? I'm going to sit here. Drink this and wait for Joe to call. It's only going to get worse, you know. He'll be back soon. And who's going to crack first? I can't let him do this. He's in enough trouble as it is. And the shark is circling. I thought you were on my side. I am. Then please. Help me. Help Joe. He'll be home soon. I know he will. <laughs> that man owes us big time. He'll be home soon. Dear, the walls are closing in on Gale. You can go to itv.com slash Corrie to watch an exclusive video with actress Michelle Keegan, who plays Tina, as she reveals what happens when the truth comes out. A twisting, involved case. Next tonight, as CID are put firmly on the map in the last of the series of Law & Order UK. Oh, 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 oh,